Top 5 Planeswalkers from Planeswalker decks It is no secret that Planeswalker decks are not the greatest product ever created for Magic the Gathering. And aside from not usually containing useful pieces for a good deck, the Planeswalkers in the decks are also made to be significantly worse than their main set counterparts. In the end, the only real places for these Planeswalkers is to be played on a kitchen table, or in commander decks where the high cost of the planeswalkers aren't nearly as costly. The purpose of this list is to pick out which of these planeswalker deck planeswalkers are actually the closest to playable. Starting with number 5, Sarkon Dragon Soul. While its first ability isn't great considering that this card is a 6 drop, and most 1 toughness creatures either wouldn't be on the battlefield at this point in the game or just don't matter, the plus side of the first ability that it is a plus two ability, which will get this card to its ultimate after only two upticks. The second effect isn't great either because it only targets players and planeswalkers. And while the four damage can kill some planeswalkers and the burn damage might be applicable to the opponent in non-commander games, the only place where I can see this card really being applicable is in Commander. And the main reason why this card can be good in Commander is because of its ultimate. Out of all the Planeswalker deck Planeswalkers, Sarkon has the most on-theme ultimate ability, and also has the one that is the most powerful in Commander. Being able to search out every single dragon in your deck and force it onto the battlefield will pretty much allow you to take down every single enemy player at a table in a game of Commander. Well, let's move on to number 4, Gideon the Martial Paragon. This one's actually only 5 mana, and it's the only one like it on the list. With being lower costed than the rest of the walkers on this list, this one still actually has two decent ish abilities, with its plus 2 and its plus 0. The untap effect can be pretty useful in conjunction with things like mana dorks, so that they can be used for combat or to be tapped again, along with being just a massive, well, massive, being a sarcastic term, pump ability. The zero ability just provides a very nice way to get in damage with an indestructible Gideon creature. And while it's not as good as main set Gideons, the generic Gideon effect at least makes it a pretty decent creature with its additional widespread application of the plus two ability. And while the last ability can help to take it down an opponent's kitchen table deck, it isn't likely that it would take down multiple opponents in a commander setting. Well, let's move on to number three, Tezzeret, the Master of Metal. Tezzeret has a very nice draw effect, searching out the top artifact in your deck and putting it straight to your hand. This is pretty decent in an affinity or egg style strategy. Its second ability, with the ability to burn your opponent equal to the number of artifacts you control, is especially good in strategies like affinity and eggs, especially eggs because it can just potentially snipe a player off the board. Because with eggs, the only inevitable thing is the fact that you will have a bajillion permanents on your board, all of which are artifacts. And it also helps that this card starts out of high enough loyalty that it's not gonna easily die if you have any kind of board presence. And if you're in something like Affinity, that isn't too hard. Let's move on to number two, Ashiok, the Sculptor of Fears. This one's the newest card on this list, and it also has a very unique draw ability among Planeswalker deck Planeswalkers. It doesn't just have a draw effect, it has a draw effect with additional upside. Perish the thought. Because you draw and mill two off of every single player's deck. This is even more of an upside because the second ability can reanimate one of the cards that gets milled off of the top. And this first ability gets even better if your deck has even more graveyard synergies in it, 
such as cards with the keyword mechanic delve or escape. And the last ability, while being strictly worse than Tezzeret Master of Metal, doesn't really matter because the first two abilities are just solid. Now, let's move on to the final one, that being Tezzeret the Cruel Mechanist. While having a strictly worse draw effect than either of the two previous cards on the list, Cruel Mechanist has a significant upside that no other Planeswalker on this list can claim, and that is that it has a good way to protect itself. Zero ability on this card can be used to either keep it or you from taking damage, because a 5-5 is actually a very relevant body size in this game. The Ultimate is also a pretty effective way to end a game by unloading useless cards in your hand onto the field to make a giant army to just beat down your opponent with. Having every single ability on this card being functional while also being the only Planeswalker deck Planeswalker that can actually protect itself easily puts Cruel Mechanist at number one. Well, that's all. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have a great day.